right guys, so I'm actually pretty pissed off. I just went to go open my garage door and I noticed that as the door was kind of going up, it was shaking. Never seen it do that before. Then I start analyzing it a little bit closer and let's zoom in so I can show you guys what I just found. Keep in mind this garage door opener was installed maybe two years ago. Let's kind of zoom in, you'll see the great work these people do. So you'll see that they attached it with one screw. It looks like, I think it looks like a lag bolt. And obviously it looks like they didn't go into anything solid. I'm guessing they just went straight into the sheetrock and I'm surprised it didn't come out even earlier. And there's literally just one screw, which I don't understand why they wouldn't do multiple screws, but there's just one screw and I'm pretty sure it just went into the sheetrock. There's probably nothing solid behind there where they did it. So I went ahead and I called the business that installed this garage door opener and they're like, oh well, if you're within your one year warranty, then you'll be covered. If not, we're gonna have to charge you. I mean, this is, this is just the kind of stuff that, this is why I hate kind of doing any kind of work like on my home or things like that, especially like in New York. I always feel like in New York, you tend to pay much higher prices for everything else. And on top of paying the high prices, people kind of are quick to just kind of come in and do the work as fast as they can, charge you, and be out. And that's it, and then everything's kind of falling apart. And I have my brand new wide body Hellcat under this garage. Now if that screw finishes popping out, I mean, it's a little bit risky. I mean, we have this whole thing that could possibly fall and damage the Hellcat, which I would have to kill somebody if that happened. But anyway, I called them up. They said that you know there was no guarantee that they were gonna be able to make it here today. I kind of pushed them and they said they're gonna try their best to make to have somebody here in a few hours to take a look at this. But I'm really curious to see if they're gonna charge me or not. They told me over the phone that they're gonna charge me, but to me, this is obviously an improper installation. I apologize if I sound a little frustrated, but it's just this is the kind of stuff that kind of annoys me. This is the reason why I'm so picky when it comes to my Hellcat and who works on the Hellcat because I've gone through a lot of cars, guys, and in my experience, you have no idea how many mechanics I've gone to that will work on your car, just kind of throw it all together real quick. You know, a month or two later, you're having issues, and people don't like to take responsibility. But all I'm saying is, if this thing falls on my Hellcat, I'm going to flip. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start this unboxing. Okay, so we have Blast LED light. Show you guys, give you guys a good view. Now this light obviously is for my Hellcat Challenger, but this product, they also do make this product for the Hellcat Charger. The one for the Hellcat Charger should be about to ship or already started shipping. But let me show you guys what it looks like. The reason why I pulled the trigger on this is because it's supposed to be completely plug and play. Literally should just be a matter of popping out the uh, the, st the light that's already under the door and popping this one in. At least, at, the, at least that's what I was told. I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna find out right now and we're gonna pull out the Hellcat and install this in the driveway. Okay, so in the past when I did the similar mod on my first Challenger, I could have sworn I remember them having to remove the panel on the door and then drill like a hole that was probably this big on the bottom to uh, fit that light. The only reason why I bought this one was because they claim it was all plug and play. So let's kind of just go, I'm gonna go underneath here to show you guys where the light is. I haven't done this yet, so this is literally my first time. So yeah, here it is right here. Um, there's a little hole over here, so I'll put, pop, I'm going to pop a screwdriver in there, pop this out. Actually, very easy to pop out. Alright, so it's simple to pop out. You guys just saw what I did. This is what the original one looks like. Now let's go ahead and put on the new one. Also, when you do it, keep in mind, one is labeled L and one is labeled R for right, so... I guess this is the left one. Let me just flip the switch. There, there we go. So we do have light. On the daylight, you're not gonna see this probably on the ground.
There we go. Just snapped right back in. All right, that was easy. As you can see right now on the ground, you can't see anything. Like I said, it's pure daylight out right now. Like I said, we'll pull it into the garage where, where it's darker. And if you actually want to see a shot of this completely lit up at nighttime, go follow me on Instagram because I'm going to literally upload and edit this video right after I'm done. So it's still daylight out, so it's not going to be dead, ready in time. I'll pull it into the garage, show you what it looks like in there, but I will have a nighttime shot posted on my Instagram page, jmcrides.official. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and make sure you go follow me there and you'll see exactly what it looks like at nighttime. All right, we do have lights, so let's go ahead and pull this into the garage and see what it looks like on the ground. Let's go ahead, open this door up. Boom, there you go guys. Very cool. I cannot believe how cool this mod looks and how cheap it was and how easy it was for me to install. I'd say you could literally install the whole thing, both sides in less than 10 minutes. Obviously when you close the door, it's gonna turn off when it's on the inside. And here, let's see if you guys can see the passenger. So I got the driver door open, so that means that the light on the passenger side is also on. Cool thing is, I can actually see the Hellcat logo on the camera. It shows up a little blurry, but I can actually make out that Hellcat logo uh, from the driver's seat, which is actually like a nice little touch. But that means if somebody's getting in on the passenger side of my vehicle, they're going to see that Hellcat logo on the driver's side also. I'll go ahead. And I'm going to put the info for their website in the description below. So if you want, you can check it out. All right, guys, like I said before, make sure you follow me on Instagram because tonight once the sun goes down, I will pull the Hellcat out of the garage. I'll open up the doors and show you exactly what it looks like when it's pitch black outside. Um, very cool looking product. No, this video was not sponsored. I actually just bought the product because I thought it looked cool. Um, if you're curious about the longevity of the product, I don't know, hit me up on Instagram. You guys are always free to ask me questions on Instagram and I'll go ahead and respond to you directly or I'll respond to you guys through a video like I've done in the past. And one last thing. Do not throw out your stock lights, just in case. If for some reason there's issues with these new ones that I just installed, I doubt there will be any issues, but just in case there are any issues, keep your stock lights, guys. Don't throw them out just in case you need them. Just throwing that out there. Now, if you are the owner of the product that I just went ahead and installed on my vehicle, hit me up. I don't know. I'm really curious if you guys are having any plans on making that Hellcat logo in a different color. I would love to have it in red. So if you want to hit me up, you can always hit me up on Instagram, jmcrides.official. If it's your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to sign up for notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.